What's going on, my geeks? I'm Kakui Otaku, and welcome to Home Base Serenity, where today we're discussing Fortnite Save the World. Today's video is the next entry in my series where I'm showing my top five loadouts. In the last video, I showed off my favorite ninja in the game, Harvester Sarah. I enjoy each of the four classes for different reasons and like to have one loadout for each class. So to go along with the beginning of my Twine Peaks SSD series, I thought I should show my Constructor class next. And right now, my favorite Constructor in the game game is Mega Base Kyle, the original Mythic Constructor. Mega Base Kyle's abilities are Plasma Pulse, Rosie, and Bull Rush. Bull Rush can be great at getting you out of sticky situations because you charge forward three tiles, collecting enemies on a shield, and damaging them as you do. But I never really have gotten into the Rosie turret. In my opinion, it doesn't really deal enough damage and has way too long of a cooldown timer, which is three minutes, and it only starts as soon as you fire the last bullet. I do love Plasma Pulse though, which throws down a device that spews plasma mines for 6 seconds. I know it's not the same, but it feels very similar to the shock tower the Outlanders have, and I use it in a similar way. But there are two main reasons why I love Mega Base Kyle, the team perk that he unlocks, which I'll discuss in a moment, and his commander perk. Since the hero rework, all constructors have the same two class perks, kinetic overload and base. The last one is what I want to discuss today. Base reinforces structures attached to it with 60 arms armor which extends four tiles from the base at its base level. Pun absolutely intended. Mega Base Kyle is different though. Mega Base Kyle's commander perk increases the connectivity range of base three tiles, making it an incredible seven tiles long. That's almost double the size. If he's in your support team though, he will extend the connectivity by just one tile. But that's still helpful though. Now I've jumped into some gameplay real quick just to show you the difference. For the first clip, I'm running base Kyle with no support for base. So I have a tile in front of me and I've put base down on it. With base Kyle and all other constructors, the protection of base extends four tiles from the base. Like I said earlier, if I build on a fifth tile, you'll see the first four are glowing because they are protected by base, and the fifth is not. So if I build up the full protection of this base, it looks something like this. Also, base does extend to tiles that are not flat floor pieces as well. Another build I've done here shows that it will go down walls and slants as well. It will connect to any tile and that will count as one tile. This is another reason why I love Mega Base Kyle so much. Now I'm in a different mission with Mega Base Kyle as my commander. What I've done here is that I've built the four tiles out from the base as you saw with Base Kyle and I've already put down my base. Now I'm going to build up the rest of the connectivity that Mega Base gives so you can see just how much bigger his base is. And as you can see, those three extra tiles add a huge area to the base. Again, here, I've got the other build from before with the base already down. What this allows you to do is put down a floor around the build that can be affected by base, which you can trap and perk up with your support team and team perk. And again, you'll see that it's just a massive difference. So what can you do with all this? Well, let's go and check out how I've built up my support. For this hero. The first thing I want to point out is the team perk, Supercharged Traps. This team perk is unlocked when you get Mega Base Kyle. What it does is that for each constructor in your loadout, the damage of any trap affected by base is increased by 8.5%, which if you have five constructors like I do, that's a massive 42.5%. In support, I have Heavy Base Kyle, so that for every 30 eliminations on structures affected by base, there is a massive Nova explosion that deals 39 base energy damage in a three tile radius around the base. Thunder Thora electrifies floors affected by base, causing them to deal 12.7 base energy damage to enemies every five seconds. The Ice King snares enemies on structures affected by base by 15%. Base Kyle increases building health by 28%. And Power Base Penny, which causes base to heal structures attached to it by 4% of their max health every 10 10 seconds. As usual, I also have the hover turrets and adrenaline rush as my gadgets. There are many ways that you can support Mega Base Kyle, but this is what I personally feel works best for me right now. So now that I've gone through the loadout, I'm going to go into a mission and show you some of this in action. Alright, so here we are in my storm shield. I'm going to run a quick war game simulation just to kind of test this out and show the base level of base without any perks on it. I'm gonna put it here, built this new little trap tunnel to just tempt the husks over into, see how good the damage is. So we'll see how this works. Fire a few shots to tempt them over here. 
Come on now. Okay, so pay attention to the numbers there. Working out pretty well so far, I think. Getting a few coming over here. Just kind of show off the damage. All right, so you get a good idea now just of the general damage that this trap tunnel does without any perks impacting the damage of the traps and without anything perking up the base. So now I'm going to jump out of this simulation, bring in Mega Base Kyle, and show you what this tunnel's like with his perks. All right, now here we are back again in the exact same simulation, but this time with Mega Base Kyle. So we're going to put down his base and see what kind of difference it makes. So take a look at those damage numbers now. You can see that they're actually a lot higher than they were before. So supercharged traps definitely does do a lot more damage on your traps. It's really impactful. And there's that Nova explosion I was talking about. Every time 30 husks are killed on the base, you get that Nova explosion. And I just love the sound of that, to be honest. So now that you've got an idea of the damage potential out of supercharged traps and with this particular base and my setup on Mega Base, I'm going to jump back out of this simulation and go into an actual mission, go into an Atlas mission, and run it by myself, show you kind of what I would do, and see how that goes. All right, everyone. So here we are in an Atlas mission. I've already built it up, got the traps all around. Didn't really completely trap it as much as I normally would, but I did extend the entire thing out to have the entire length of the base that I just put down a bunch of snare traps because they still do damage. And I've also put a sniper defender down to help me with this because I am doing this privately. So let's actually run this mission now and see how this goes. Right, so you can see them start to get ticked down by the electric floors as soon as they get onto the base. This right here is the reason why I wanted the sniper defender so I could be a little passive to show off some of this and why I didn't want to damage them too heavily too quickly. I wanted to make sure they all died on the floor too. And see, there's the Nova Blast. I got my base sitting in right here. So that blast will affect anything within three tiles up and down. So right now nothing's actually getting, well, mostly nothing's getting to the actual base. A couple of them are. Go away. And I could be wrong about the... Oh, no, there we go. We just saw it. As I was about to say, I could be wrong about it damaging. We just saw the Nova Blast destroy a husk that was right here. So, yeah, it does damage up and down. That's good to know. Oh, propanes are coming in. Don't you destroy it. I got to start being careful now. No, no, crap. Oh, thought he was going to destroy it. Ah, oh, that one's going to destroy some things. Not good. Oh, but see? Base protected it. That one I think got destroyed by a spire. Okay, it's starting to get a little hairy. That is not good. And I'm dead. What the heck happened? I guess just a bunch of propane went off or something? I don't know. That was not good, though. I'm going to quickly put the floors back down because that's part of the whole idea here. Oh, and you see the Nova Blast just went off and destroyed that Smasher. That was really advantageous that that happened like that. Oh, great. Mini boss coming in. Oh, it's Ricochet. That is so not good. All right, so I died again. Yeah, I know, Ray. I'm just ignoring the mini boss because he's not going to damage the Atlas. Got so many shielders coming in here at the end. I don't like it. At least we only got 30 seconds left. I love it. See? Feel the base coming in so handy there. Just cleared off everything that was on the base. I love it. Oh, no. Propanes. Okay. We did it. Only just, but we did it. That did not go as well as I was hoping it would, but it still showed off how great base is as an ability. You know, without base and without the heavy base on that, that would not have gone as well. We probably would have failed it. So it's really great that we struggled because it shows just how amazing base is as an ability and why I'm always running constructors when I do my storm shield defenses because base is just so helpful. So now let's jump out of here and I can show you how you can recruit these same heroes if you want to try this loadout for yourself.
As I said at the beginning, Mega Base Kyle is the only mythic constructor that is part of the base game, so he can be found in any llama that grants base game heroes, or he can be recruited from the collection book for 300 training manuals and 250 legendary flux. The same goes for Base Kyle, except that he costs less to recruit, costing only 120 training manuals and 100 legendary flux. Heavy Base Kyle can also be recruited from the collection book for the same cost as Base Kyle, but from the Expansion People section under the Cyberpunk Heroes, the same set as Harvester Sarah. Thunder Thora and the Ice King are both still considered event heroes and can therefore be recruited from the Road Trip Heroes Viking Heroes set and the Holiday Heroes Frost Knight Heroes set, respectively. Lastly, Power Base Penny along with Power Base Kyle are only available in the Limited Edition Founders Pack if you pick the Constructor class, or in the Ultimate Edition Founders Pack, which gives you two Legendary Heroes from each class. However, even after the Hero Rework, all of these heroes are still reskins of base game heroes. If you don't have those Founders Packs and want to try out the same ability as Power Base Penny and Kyle, you need only recruit Power Base Nox from the base game heroes in the same way you would recruit Base Kyle. That's going to do it for this video. Again, thank you all so much for the support. I do have another challenge video coming out hopefully next week, as well as prep and gameplay for my Twine Peaks SSD 2 coming out this week and next week. If you liked what you saw or want to see any other videos that are coming up, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see each new video as they go live. Special thanks to David Dean for tweeting out my first SSD video. That has helped my channel grow and I am so grateful for that. As always, shoutouts to my favorite Save the World content creators, Latana, Demon Joe France, David Dean, Tori X, Aiden Harris, Rounded Tic Tac, and Gaming Mike. You all inspire me to keep making my content better and better, and I would love to work with you all one of these days. Thanks again for watching everyone, and stay cool, geeks. Have a great day.